And Lazarus, I'm bringing you today's the Silver Wedding Handicap here at Newmarket. It's one mile four furlongs to travel. A Class 2 handicap for horses rated up to 110. Let's have a look at the race card. We've got Generic Barn, Satyam, Kilshani Glance, David Robertson, King's Dine, Avon Alexin, Cyclone Jethro, Darren Thompson, Getaway Jungie, Graham Clutterbuck, still on a high after his Cambridgeshire win, Jammer Cottage, James Shea, no more promises, David Hooley. Bloodstone, Michael Scala. Weiner, Thomas Rogers. Cincinnati, Raven, Vinnie Gerrard. The Best of Us, Josh Sutherland. Prim and Proper, Ryan Tamasebi. Tyrol, Fabulous, Dan Hughes. Great Wood, Graham Clutterbuck. Dolores, Abernathy, Dan Hughes. El Paso Impact, Vinnie Gerrard. Falco, Langley, Ben Fotheringham. Petronel, on a four-timer here for Satyam, your favourite. Tante, Nena, Padre Hogan. Chlorine, Darren Thompson. Red Session, Ben Fotheringham. And last but not least was Noble Quest, Craig Beckwith. 22 runners off and running in the Silver Wedding Handicap. And Petronel, the favourite here, on a four-timer. And Satyam will be delighted to hear myself in the commentary box because it seems like any time I commentate on a handicap, I'm calling a Satyam winner home at the moment. He's been cleaning up the handicaps over the last few weeks. And Petronel looking to make it four in a row and out in that uh, usual front-running lead that it's take, taken up week in, week out. And has a half a length advantage over the best of us, Joshua Sutherland, the black and red hoops. He's been enjoying some winners on the flat and the jumps so far in week 10. Uh, some great winners over at Cheltenham uh, for the jumps trainer. A few lengths back from that one then to Getaway Junkie. Graham Clutterbuck still on cloud nine after a 1-2 in the Cambridgeshire. Can he add more prize money and glory to the stable here in the Silver Wedding Handicap. Seven and a half furlongs to go. It's Petronel, the best of us. Getaway Junkie a few lengths back. Behind that in third, no more promises for David Hooley in the purple silks. Kilshani glances there as well for David Robertson looking towards the rear of the field. El Paso Impact travelling strongly but for Vinnie Gerrard, but a long way behind this leader. Um, however, there is just over six furlongs to go. Uh, also towards the rear of the field, we've got Bloodstone, Jammer Cottage, Red Session, Weiner and Noble Quest is there as well. Back to the front, Petronel travelling strongly now has a length advantage to the best of us. Uh, one making progress down the outside is Tyrol Fabulous, Dan Hughes. That's won a couple of races in re recent weeks. And then as soon as I backed it in a lucky 63, came seventh uh, last time out. Petronel still in the lead. Cyclone Jethro is one that's moved forward as well. Tyrol Fabulous, the best of us is now hard at work and uh, not picking up instantly. So that one's struggling at the moment. Prim and Prop is one from the rear of the field that's angled right out towards the centre of the track to get some daylight in other words done that is Tande Nira and that one's definitely making more eye-catching progress and Kingsdine Avon's one that's really starting to stay on from the rear of the field as well but at the two you per say Petronel's opened up a bigger advantage than it's had at any point in the race Falco Langley one that's trying to get going Dolores Abernathy Cyclone Jethro Trill still trying to stay on the best of us has now got a second wind and is starting to look like a real danger Cincinnati Ravens there as well and Petronel has finally been passed it's Cyclone Jethro that goes out into the lead uh, the best of us is trying to stay on El Paso Impact one that's flying down on the outside but it's left it too late or has it as they come to the line he's done it El Paso Impact has picked off Cyclone Jethro just on the line how many times are we going to see that a Vinnie Gerrard horse look like he's left it far too late to come with a challenge and oh god no Cyclone Jethro has maybe held on it's dead heat it's a dead heat I wasn't right and I wasn't wrong. Cyclone Jethro has held on uh, to a share of the lead, but El Paso Impact making it a dead heat there. We're absolutely flying in the final furlong for Vinny Gerrard. Jammer Cottage in third, James Shea. Cincinnati Raven, more prize money there for Vinny Gerrard. And fifth, Tantanina for Padre Hogan. But what a finish to the Silver Wedding handicap. Make your own mind up, folks. But a dead heat is the official result.